It's just like old times in Greenock. The full house signs are up at Capillo. Celtic are in town, and it's game on for the Scottish Cup tie at the third time of asking. Morton are two players different from the team which lost at Fur Hill two weeks ago. Ryan McGuffey replaces the departed David Van Zanten. Alan Jenkins is in for the injured Eric Partelou. Their nine-goal top scorer is Peter Weatherson. Celtic have to make a couple of changes as well from the team which drew with Falkirk on Saturday. Stephen McManus and Ki Young Sung are injured. Glenn Lubins returns and Niall McGinn is a starter. Tony Mowbray still has a handful of first team regulars missing. McGuffey to Grisham. Peter Weatherson holds it up for Alan Jenkins. Now McFarlane looking to get plenty of the ball early on. Morton. Shimon for Wake. And Jenkins flashed at the shot and it's gone wide. Hopeful moments for the first division side. And a miscue from Jenkins who got himself into a useful position supporting the front two. No team has won the Scottish Cup more than Celtic. 34 to be exact. And they've won a corner, conceded by Shimon under pressure from McGinn. The left foot of Naylor to launch this in. Opportunity knocking for Celtic, a scramble in the six yard box. And goal kick is the outcome. Well, there was some defending to do there for the first division team. And Shimon was at the heart of it. Tony Mowbray's team have won only one of their last five games. Nine points off the pace in the SPL. It's given away by Leuvens. Peter Weatherson cuts in for the shot, and it's a good effort. Bang on target, and it needed saving from Arthur Boritz. Well, all that was uh, was a long ball down the middle from Stewart. And it caused a lot of consternation at the heart of the Celtic defence. McGeady. Changing gear. Got away from McFarlane. But not McGuffey. Fortunate, strong on the byline, forces it in for Samaras, and Niall McGinn settles Celtic's nerves. Ten minutes before half-time, and Celtic hit the front. All about the strength and the skill of Fortuny on the byline, and an explosive left foot shot from McGinn. Leaves Morton one down. Can Morton find a response to it? These and other questions to be answered shortly as McGinn threatens again. And what a chance for Marc Antoine Fortuny to make it two. Could have been two goals in three minutes. McGiddy's header. McFarlane launches it over the top. It's too long to be any trouble to Celtic. Samaras, lovely control. Shooting opportunity. And he struck it well. Turned round the corner by Colin Stewart. Away from McGuffey, and you always knew he was going to test out the goalkeeper, which he did. That carried some sting. McAllister chasing. That's Weatherson for Jenkins. Won by Krosas. Zheng Zhi away from McFarlane. Samaras to McGeady. 
Away from Finlayson. Good effort from Aidan McGeady. Hammered in towards the base of the post where it was collected by Colin Stewart. Left Finlayson and McGuffey in his wake. Tony Mowbray's team looking pretty comfortable at the moment, but he would like a second goal. Samaras with the pass inside Reed for McGinn. Has a look up to see what's available. Great ball in. McGeady was waiting. A change of corner kick taker for Celtic. It's Krosas and it's bundled in. But it won't count. The goal chalked off just as Celtic thought they were cruising into the last 16. The referee with other ideas. Handled into the net, says Craig Thompson. Let's have a closer look at Giorgio Samaras. Cushioned in by the left hand is the referee's verdict, no goal. Celtic sitting on a 1-0 advantage. Zheng Ji. Samaras knocks it down for Naylor. Well, that would have been a spectacular second for Celtic. And that got in rather than cannon back off the upright. So close to game over. Hinkle in this time for Tune, foiled by Colin Stewart, and he was onside. A real chance to tie things up. And after, firstly, this stinging shot from Naylor, which came back off the inside of the post and so nearly went in, followed by that close range opportunity for Fortune, which he couldn't take. Well, we've played a lot better, um, but it was never going to be easy coming here. It's uh, to be fair to, to Morton, they put up a great fight. They're very competitive right from the first to the last minute. And as you would expect, you know, on, on a, a great atmosphere in the stadium. It was always going to be a difficult night for us. And um, whilst it was only 1-0, it was always a bit nervous. Definitely proud of the players in terms of the work ethic they, they, 